911. The call to 911 comes from Peachtree City Police Chief William McCollum just after 4 o'clock New Year's morning, and he reports he just accidentally shot his wife, Maggie McCollum. She is in their bed and bleeding. These are excerpts from his five-and-a-half-minute call. Where is the person shot at? Uh, in the back. You said it was an accident? Yes. Who shot her? Me. How did you shoot her? I was, the gun was in the bed. I went to move it, uh, put it to the side, and it went off. And part of the GBI investigation is how McCollum let that happen. His department issued Glock 17 9mm, like this one, does not normally, by design, just go off. There's extensive training. Jack Lesher of Chuck's Firearms says the bullet was probably already in the chamber, which would have been normal, and then shooting the gun. To press the trigger. It's a long trigger pull. It's intentionally made that way. That's just not a little light hair trigger in there. So did the trigger catch on something in the bed, or maybe the gun was defective? Anything's possible, and I have no doubt that uh, this will be tested ex uh, extensively by GBI. There's no record we could find that Will and Maggie McCollum were actually married. They were exes. They divorced in 1999. After that, they both remarried, then divorced. Then Maggie moved back in with Will about three years ago, before Will's divorce from his then-current wife was final all part of the GBI's extensive investigation into every detail of their lives leading up to the shooting. Oh, my God. What's your name, sir? How did this happen? The very question the GBI is now trying to answer. There are some conflicting statements in that 911 call, such as whether the gun fired once or twice, and whether they were asleep in bed when the gun went off, or whether he was moving it when the gun went off. The GBI investigation could take weeks before it's ready to present a report to the DA for possible prosecution.